Welcome back to another video on living in Halifax. Today we're going to be going over the pros and the cons of Clayton Park, a little neighborhood just outside of the peninsula. Another kind of special thing we got today is I actually bought a drone, so hopefully we'll be able to loop in some drone footage. And uh, yeah, once again, I'm Tom Moore. I'm a realtor here in Halifax, so please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've got another pro or con on Clayton Park. But without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so pro number one of Clayton Park and Fairview is going to be your access to amenities. Like right behind me, we got Costco here. We got Walmart, grocery stores all the way around this area, which is known as Bears Lake. You've got a ton of big box shops. So this is actually the area that the city of Halifax will kind of drive to to get their big box shopping done. There's also another area like this out in Dartmouth called Dartmouth Crossing. Uh, and then other things going on out here. They're building a brand new hospital out here for all the outpatient stuff. And you've also got the Canada Game Center out here, which is a really great athletic facility. And there's some soccer fields in the back as well. So that's a really big bonus to living out in Clay Park, Fairview. You've, you've got all these amenities really close by. Here's the Canada Game Sport Center. So this has a pool, uh, gyms, gymnasium. And right out the back, there's also a really large soccer facility, outdoor and indoor, I believe. And here is the library. It's a modern library, obviously under construction currently, but that's just on the border of Clay Park. All right, pro number two is going to be your transportation options to downtown. Now, Clayton Park is located basically just off the peninsula, but realistically, I'm at the Lacewood bus terminal here. They've got buses that go all over the HRM leaving from here, but it's probably, if I was to leave from here and head downtown, it'd probably take me about 15 minutes in my car right now. But alternatively, you can bike, probably a little too far to walk downtown. You can also take the bus, obviously, or you can take the car. So we're really close to the actual city aspect of Halifax. Um, so you've got a lot of options there if you need to commute into town. So pro number three is going to be the neighborhoods themselves. Now Clayton Park has a pretty unique layout. There's individual neighborhoods kind of throughout the actual area of Clayton Park and you've got houses of all kinds of different styles. You've got mid-century modern houses, uh, different sized houses, houses that have been custom built. Some are more modern, some are more, I guess, historic, uh, but you're gonna be able to find a ton of different choices here. The other nice thing is that the neighborhood itself is very green and you actually have these really cool pathways that kind of run throughout the neighborhood, allowing you to kind of traverse from one street to the next. So overall, the Clayton Park neighborhood itself and its layout is phenomenal. Okay, so con number one is going to be the walkability of Clayton Park. Now, what I'm talking about when I refer to this is there's not really that coffee shop culture that you might find in other neighborhoods, uh, like the North End or the West End or even parts of Dartmouth. Uh, in Clayton Park, you're, you kind of have that Bears Lake area and then you have another strip mall area right kind of smack dab in the center of Clayton Park. So depending on where you are in the neighborhood, you might be able to walk, get groceries, go to a restaurant, something along those things. But a lot of Clayton Park is going to actually be kind of uh, a little bit tucked away. So your walkability to shops and whatnot might be hindered while depending on where you are, your ability to reach parks, uh, maybe walking past whatever, that, that may still be an option. Con number two is going to be the price point. So over the last couple of years, we've noticed that Clayton Park has really kind of kept pace with almost the West End of Halifax, which is all obviously more uh, advantageous in terms of location to downtown. But you trade off basically a bit more of a historic, uh, smaller lots that you'd find in the West End for a larger lot in Clayton Park and a bit more of potentially a modern house or uh, maybe a mid-century modern house. So. It really kind of depends on your lifestyle that you're looking for. Are you looking for uh, something that might require a bit more car, uh, but still have shopping nearby? If so, Clayton Park might be for you. However, at that same price point, you're often fetching uh, something in the West End, which may have a smaller lot, but more kind of historic charm to the house, or even out a little outside the city with a very large lot, uh, larger house. So it, it really depends on what you're looking for, but again, the price points have changed here on both the rental side as well as the purchase side. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this video on the pros and the cons of Clayton Park located just outside of Halifax. 
Another kind of cool factor is a lot of this neighborhood is right on the Bedford Basin, which is the body of water behind me. But anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe. Every week we're coming out with a video like this on living in Halifax. We'll see you next week and have a great day.